Hey Doc! Today we are doing what I would say the best Christmas nails ever because they reflect my personality <laughs> when it comes to Christmas. <laughs> I don't think you're a Grinch. We're doing Grinch nails because yes, I'm, I'm booked. booked. So I'm going to be working on a stiletto tip today, um, we're going to lay out the design, I like, I love the Grinch, it, this is this is Christmas to me, <laughs> I know like some people think Christmas is like, it's just a wonderful time where everybody is happy and you know, thinking about the presents and can't wait for the day and it's just one day one day of the year we all get so excited about it and, and yes I, I do like going to see the lights and, mm. and Christmas markets and all I do love that side of it but actual Christmas the stress it brings to my life <laughs> is not good so we're doing Grinch nails because I'm like Christmas <laughs> <laughs> Right, let me get my picture up. So, I like this picture, yeah? Because it's resting Grinch face. And this is how I feel <laughs> about Christmas. Like, have we really got to put all this effort in? It's the effort, that's what it is. It's the a lot effort. of hair there to do. There's a lot of hair, there's a lot of shading. I like it, I love it. We'll try and make it as close as we can to that. I also love... So that's the animated one, that's not yeah. the... I also love this as well. So mm. what we're going to do is we're going to do like a bit of a combination. I like the hand, because I love how expressive he is, not just with his face, but his hands as well. You know, jazzercise hands, do you know what I mean? Um, and I love the bauble. So I think what we're going to do is sort of slice that and put that on another nail. But we'll tie them all in. The colours will tie them in. I absolutely love green. If you know me well, you know that <laughs> green is my favourite colour. We are dressed for the Grinch today. Oh, you should have had the Santa hat on. <laughs> I, I've even, even got green bottoms on as well. I've got my pants on, which I thought were Grinch, but were actually sprouts. Yes. <laughs> They sprout, not Grinch. You just, you just saw green, a Santa hat, and you thought. I Grinch. did. I instantly thought, yeah. it. and and then when I, I got them for Christmas last year, somebody bought me them, and I just, I was getting bringing me stuff down here. Yeah. I grabbed it out, and I was like, oh, Grinch pants, and then I looked closely, and it said, Pfft. like PF, FFT yes. is in like a yeah. thought, oh. and I was like, oh, it sprouts, <laughs> not the Grinch. Because <laughs> they make you fart. Yeah. It sprouts. Well, yeah. So, because I love green. We have obviously have an abundance of greens in our collection. Um, so we're going to use as many as we can. A little bit of yellow as well, because you'll need yellow. Because there's a lot of yellow tones as well on there. So yeah, we're going to use so much green, so I'm happy. The background, we're going to use a blue. I know that is green, but what I want is more contrast. Yeah. I want more contrast. Please don't do green on green. <laughs> yeah, you're like, that's not showing up on camera, Kirst. <laughs> So, we're going to start with a blue background. We're going to use a different blue. I don't even know if I've used this on the camera before, but I love this colour, and it's called Cream Cakes. And maybe it's because it's cream cake I want to eat it mm. all the time. Um, so, it's a nice blue, but it's also got, like, a pearly shimmer in it. So, it's like a, like a pink shimmer. But it's not like a really intense shimmer. It's like when it hits the light. It has, like, that opal kind of effect to it. So, if you're doing this on a natural nail or an actual nail enhancement, please use the base coat. But because we're just doing this for demonstration purposes, we don't need the base coat. Because this is not going to be worn by anybody. This is only going to be worn by the Ariana thumb. So, we're going to do two coats of cream cake. And if you kind of look at the shape of his face, it kind of is like a bell at the top. Yeah. And then it comes out to like an oval shape. So that's the kind of shape that you're looking for. And then you'll bring the neck in. So that's how we're going to lay it out. This is where I'm going to decide. Am I going to put a pale colour on the background and add the shadows in? Am I going to use a darker green on the background and add 
add the highlights in. This is, because you can do it two different ways. I think I'm going to go with see these are the main colours that I'm going to use so if we look at them I want shadow and I want highlight so I'm going to go for the middle colour so we're going to keep the darker one for the shading and this lighter one for the highlights we'll also use a bit of yellow possibly a bit of khaki, a bit of black. So we're going to use Pony and we'll save them too. So if that's when you're doing something like this, that's what you need to think about. Think about how you need to shade and highlight. Even with like a character, like a cartoon character one. So if, you, if you're doing a bit of shade and highlighting, go for that middle colour and then you can always have the option of adding highlights or shade. I'm going to use the Miko Aqua Brush because it's round and pointy and it'll pick up a decent amount of product. I'm going to load that, make sure you're loading it up so it's got product all through the bristles so I can put more product on it. If I use the detail brush it would take me a little bit longer. So we want that kind of bell shape. Yeah, so you're just going to roughly Plan this out and then we're going to do that sort of oval shape. And now I'm thinking I won't go slightly bigger, so everything's going to go slightly bigger, probably one millimeter on each edge. Now I'm going to take the Cassidy detailer brush just to neaten up those edges. This is where you can start to perfect anything. We'll do two coats of this colour. So, second coat of colour. Then while that second coat is on, I can also start to add the weird wispy hair. <laughs> you can just use that detail brush for that. Right hot, right hot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use the colour, oh, what's this called? Mick. Mick. The colour Mick. So this is the darker colour now. So with this darker colour, I'm going to kind of map out where his nose will be. Now, if I look at that image, it's ever so slightly higher than the bottom, which I would class as this part. Mm, maybe slightly higher than that. But let me paint the nose shape and see if we are working in the right area. So, because we've got the nose on now, I can also gauge where the eyes will be. Now, he's, 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 he's very annoyed. He's got these sort of slanty annoyed eyes we can fill that because we're going to go over that but it's going to give us a good guide of where everything is he's like proper frowning because he hates christmas it's a very grumpy bugger he is a grumpy one i'm just going to cure those so i know i'm not going to knock them and i know where that is now i can start to add a little bit of shadow so we've got a bit of shadow here so we're getting slightly darker so you can see that's a little bit darker because there's, there's not as much light casting under there and then sort of from his eyes and then here and here it is slightly darker again 
Because the Grinch has that funny shaped face, doesn't he? It's like, his nose is like up here and he's got like a snout. So we need the shading for that. We've got a little bit of shadow here. And then he's got like these frown lines. He's got a few of them himself. Oh, excuse me, such an unhappy bunny. I've just like had no Botox for so long. He does sort of look like a bunny without ears there. He does, doesn't he? Yeah. So we're going to add that in. And we've got one here. Oh, he does need a bit of Botox. That's if he wants to get rid of his lines. I think he quite likes his lines, yeah. Gives him character. Imagine if the Grinch had Botox, he'd look like a totally different person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to add a bit of shadow here, so I'm using the colour quite thinly. So hardly any product on the brush. So he's starting to get there. We can add a little bit of shadow into his crazy hair. Is this what your hair looks like when you wake up in the morning, Adam? Your what? Is this what your hair looks like when you wake up in the morning? Yeah, my hair's a bit... I haven't done anything with it today, though. So it was like, so this, when I woke up. Oh, that's not bad, is it? Mm. So I've just mixed a little bit of black into the colour Mick, just to make it even darker, because I want to add like an eyebrow and then what we'll do is we'll highlight over the eyebrow to make it wispy. Makeup. Yeah, I'm giving him some fierce light brows yeah. going on there and then I'm going to take a lot of excess off and just add a little bit of shadow here and then what we'll do is we'll use black on its own to um, also like frame the eyes. Just want to shade there, and a little bit there, and a little bit there. So we kind of build in that shadow. So now we're going to use Suki, which is bright green, to start our highlights. I'm going to do the eyes after I've done this. So I just want some highlight. on that sort of snouty area. I'm gonna use the brush really flat, so it's not upright like there. It's quite flat. And as I blend it, I kinda of do like little lines so you get that wispy effect. Mm. Now we can start to add those wispy that was be furry face. I mean, he needs a shave, don't he? <laughs> I'm just going to flash cure that with the flash lamp. Oh, look how bright it goes. <laughs> oh, it's proper like neon. And we're going to highlight his gorgeous locks. Now I'm going to make sure we've got this wispy fur all the way around. Let's do his nose. I'm 
Right, with the black. I'm gonna do his mouse. His, his really happy mouse. <laughs> then we can do the eyes. Tiny bit of black under his nose. Right, let's put the white in on the eyes. And then, once that white's in, we can do the pupil and all that. But then we can do his fluffy eyebrows because the fluffy eyebrows actually go over the eye. Oh, it looks so ghostly. <laughs> Does look a bit evil there. It though. looks possessed. Yeah. Gonna highlight that lip there a little bit. Right, we need also a little bit of Ibiza. Oh, we definitely need a bit a little bit of Ibiza. We do need some Ibiza. Oh well, I'm just gonna before I use Ibiza, I am going to do his eyes. Mm, I'm actually going to use the design needle end of the um, Pammy Picker Up here because this is going to be the perfect size because because it has like a black outline we can go in black fully oh he's not impressed is he <laughs> <laughs> then green so we've added the green, but we've still got a little bit of an outline because we've added the green on top of the... The black. Yeah. And then we can add a little pupil. A tiny black, tiny bit of product. Then with IBC, we can add some colour here just to make it a little bit brighter. So it kind of like jumps out to you a little bit more. I'm going to do that under the lip as well. So I'm just going to mix a little bit of white into Suki to make it slightly lighter. And a tiny bit of white on them, I think, just to make it stand out a little bit more. I need to put some more fluffy hair around the edge. Ah, yeah, because it has sort of, you sort of see like a bit of a glow from him, can't yeah. you? Yeah, as if he's, he's backlit. Mm -hmm. And that'll just give that texture. Yeah, and that'll give that effect. Right, so then with Lust, I want a tiny, 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 tiny bit to go over this white line to add a slight bit of pinkness to his lip. But then, we're going to do, he's going to be wearing Santa's, Santa's outfit. So this is going to be all red. Then with the design needle of the other side of the dotting tool, dotting tool? With the design needle of the Pabby Picker Upper, we're just going to, so I do little circles to create the white fluff or fur, whatever you want to call it. Is it fur? Yeah, it would be fur, wouldn't it? Around here. I'm doing little circles so it's not so perfect at the edges. A little bit more. Yeah, you want to be a bit wispy. Yeah, a bit wispy. 
Then what I want is white on my brush. I'm going to push it through. I'm going to get a little bit of black, push it through. And I want like a grey, but not massively, not a massive amount of product. So that's why I'm pushing it through just so it's like that. Because what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of shadow to the fur. Just tap it in, it doesn't need to be perfect, you want it to be inconsistent. So just tap, 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 and I'm using the Babacast brush. So that's going to make it a slightly different colour, and then what we can do over the top of that is little lines, little wispy lines, it's all about the wispiness. <laughs> wispy lines of white. And then they'll obviously show up a little bit better because it's a slightly different shade of white with the messy nessy brush I just want to add a little bit of shadow with the black doing I'm using barely anything on the brushes just a tiny bit just for a bit of shadow where you would get that from him wearing that little fluffy Gorgeous Santa outfit, which looks better on him than I think it looks on Santa. <laughs> <laughs> Considering he's very skinny, it wasn't very baggy on him, was it? No. Right, what I want to do on just a little bit of this background is use Jess. It's a matte top coat that has like gorgeous glitter in it. So we're going to put a bit of that in the background here. I'm just going to sort of splodge it on for now and I'll move it around with a different brush. So I'll use the Babacast brush just because it's a bit flatter. See how it's nice and flat? And we can just put that where I want that. And in all honesty, I wanted to put this in the background before I started. What am I for that? <laughs> so, matte top coat over the entire thing. I obviously didn't put Jess over the entire thing because he would have glitter all over his face and I didn't want to do that. Oh, he looks gorgeous, Matt. Look at him. Miserable git. <laughs> I'm with you. And I love this in the background. It's gorgeous, isn't it? That colour Jess. Yeah. That SFX top coat in Jess is just gorgeous in the matte, which is lovely. So I've already laid down the background using cupcakes and Jess in matte. That, do you know what? That is like actually it's, very nice, isn't it's it? really nice. Like it's just subtle. yeah, just like that. It's I've not done that combo before. I like it. I like it. So we're gonna do. The Grinch's hand with his big long fingers <laughs> holding the bauble. Let's use Pony again, which is our like middle green colour. So wrist, hand, and it comes from the thumb and the index finger. So I can just Put that on first, and then I can go in with my Cassidy detailer and do all the weird fingers. You know, Jim Carrey must have had such a fun time doing this film. Oh, I bet getting in and out of that makeup wasn't very fun. Oh, do you know what, though? I, I think it'd be great. I'm sure it took. For, you know, forever. You have a look, see how long it took. Yeah. I bet there'll be a video of us on YouTube somewhere. Eight and a half hours in makeup. Every, so every time he films, he's got to do eight and a half hours in makeup. Yeah, two and a half hours to take it off. So how long did he film for? Like an hour? It's a long day. Mm hmm. You did get paid 20 million for it. 92 days they filmed for. How much? 22 million pounds? Yeah, you got 22. 
He's had a really good time there. <laughs> you know what I mean? 92 days of filming where nearly every day you'd have to have that done. I'd want 22 million for that. Yeah. Three months of just of 10 hours taking it up, putting it on, taking it off, putting it on, taking it off, putting it on, taking it off. Wow. I'm going to kill that. Would you do it for that much money? Um, yeah, well, you know what I mean, it depends on the strength of the dollar. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, strength of the dollar's not, you yeah, know. If it's good, yeah. if it's then strong, it's, then I'm all right. You, you're going to no, do I mean, it. Yeah, it's, um, that's a... It's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. So I'm just using the colour Mick to add the shadow. Same as we did with the Grinch itself, well, his self. Ron Howard, who is the director on it, even did one day as the Grinch, just to see how bad it really was, and it was horrendous. Oh was my just one god! Day. Let's pop that in. So I've mixed black with a little bit of that green, just to add more shading. I'm just tapping so it's a bit more textured, so it's not like a hard line. It's written there, so the girl, the little girl in the film, yeah, she was too young to have prosthetics, so they had to explain in the film why she didn't look like why she didn't look like everybody else, and it's because who's grow into their noses. Ah. So she had a different nose compared to everybody else. She was too young. Oh my God! So she was too young for prosthetics. Yeah. I didn't realise there was an there's an age limit on mm. prosthetics. Well, I think it's just obviously the um, health and safety. It could be health and safety, but also it could be d down to the amount of hours you're allowed to have kids on set. Oh yeah, yeah, so you're yeah. You're not allowed to have kids on set for so many hours. Yeah. Um, so if it takes that long to do our makeup, then you're not getting any work done you know and then you want your lighter green to add your little wispy lines which will also highlight as well tiny thin line barely anything on the brush to do that little thread for the bubble and then i'm gonna get for the the bubbles red so we're gonna go in with lust and i'm using the design needle of the pammy picker up here let's put that on cure that right then black and then you want to take off, you want to like load your brush, but then pull, 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 pull. So there's barely anything on the brush. And I'm using the Babacast brush because it's flat and it's got a straight top. And with this, we're going to add a little bit of shading to the bauble. Then here, it's actually, it's a broken bauble. I don't know if anybody's ever noticed that. Mm -hmm. It's actually broken. Just kill that. We mix a tiny, tiny bit of white and red just to add little highlights, especially in between those cracks, just to highlight it. And then we can also highlight the bauble. And then while that's still wet, I'm going to add a tiny bit of white. And because that is still wet, it'll kind of like soften the white. Then I'm going to use a tiny bit of gold finger. Gold finger is our super, super gold shimmery, glittery gel polish. And that is for that. What is it even called? The bit at the top I don't know. that holds it on. I don't know. <clears throat> Whatever that is. 
somebody tell me but to make it stand out a little bit we're gonna edge one side and maybe the top a little bit just to with the black just to make that stand out a little bit more and then we want a little bit of red here from his Santa suit And remember what we did with the this colour that we mixed with for to go over the oh I'll talk in a minute. This part is fluffy bits. Oh it sounds well. It's fluffy bits. We're gonna add that just to slightly dirty that colour. And then we can add pure white, so we're just going to use white out on the brush to add those little bits. You know what I mean, don't you? <laughs> and then, with the section at the top, we're going to write Resting Grinch Face. <laughs> And on this Grinch, we just want to highlight certain parts of the, the letters in white. Right, so we're going to matte top coat this now. I am going to glossy top coat it first just to even everything out because we've got a lot of different layers on this one because of that bauble at the end as well and it'll just smooth it out. So we prefer to do this with the top coat, glossy top coat, and then I can matte top coat. Oh, I do like it in that. <laughs> Look at it. looks like it's going. Like, I'm not happy about it. I love them. Cute. So, are you a resting Grinch face? <laughs> <laughs> do you hate Christmas or do you love Christmas? If you hate Christmas, I want you to comment with a green heart. If you love Christmas, I want you to comment with a Christmas tree emoji and I'll have a little look at the comments and we'll see how many Grinches there are out there. <laughs> I'm like, Grinch, Grinch, Grinch. Green robots. <laughs> there you are guys, hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram and in the description box you'll find everything I've used today and I'll see you guys in the next video. Ta-da!